um, that your child is 34 months old. So um, not yet three, very soon uh, your child will be three years old. Well, there's very much I could say about that. Children blame very, very much. All children blame and they will, will always blame you, mostly you. They blame each other. They blame their, their brothers and sisters. They blame, they blame sometimes their imaginary friends that don't exist. You blamed when you were three years old. I blamed everybody when I was three years old. The reason why little children blame is because they are not at that age, they're nowhere near old enough yet to really understand self-responsibility that part of their mind their brain is really not ready yet they feel like mom and dad have all of the power over their experience mom and dad know how to make money and bring food and bring toys and take me here and take me there remember that they are a completely helpless force in their universe. Everything that happens in their day mostly happens to them. So how they feel inside emotionally, they, they think this is because of you. And um, when we grow up and become parents, it's too easy to forget or to pretend that we forget how vulnerable we felt when we were our child. That's why we get so upset with them. We forget that when we were three years old, we used to blame our mom and dad the same way. And we felt the same helplessness. Like mom and dad are like gods. When you remember that for you, you will feel less worried that your child blames just like all of the other children and just like you did and it's part of a growing up when I say this I am I, I do at the same time understand that the, the, the exact purpose of growing up is to learn how to take responsibility for our own experience that how I feel is mostly up to me that's something that we really start to learn a, a little bit and a little bit more and a little bit more when our elders role model that for us. And even teenagers and adolescents are still coming to terms with that. They still blame the world. They're coming to terms with the fact that the world is how it is. What, I, what will I do to make the, make the world work for me? That's my responsibility, okay? It takes a long time to become a grown up. I'll tell you a secret. I think most grown-ups are not grown-up. Because I see a lot of people at 40, 50 years old, they're always blaming somebody else uh, without realizing that they have 50% of the ability in the relationship. So it's too early to start expecting a three-year-old to take full responsibility. But there's another part to your question, which is the child says, you know, you scolded me and, and you know, mum, you scolded me, you're mad at me, you hurt me. And, and you're surprised because you, you feel like you're scolding very little and not often and a small scolding. We don't realize how sensitive our children are. It's, we don't remember to look at the world from the eyes of a very small person. They can't even make their own food. It's so um, vulnerable. So sometimes, I mean, when we look a little bit upset, it, it goes like an arrow to their heart. It does not take much. And if your child is a very sensitive person, some children are more sensitive than others. You're saying, don't do this anymore, but you weren't so angry and your child is, oh. 
that's that's not unusual the the most helpful thing for your child if, if your child is blaming you for being too scolding help your little one to to say it out loud to speak it to you and we asking a good question that's very empowering for the child and you can say because you will you will always have to set boundaries sometimes you say yes sometimes you say no very often you must say to your child don't do that i can't like it when you do that you know don't tease your little sister don't splash with water don't bite your little brother don't pull the cat's tail or you can't watch more television now no no more tv i want this to stop we're tired we want to go to sleep now you'll be saying no every day now if your child is oh you scared me you're bad money and you're um help him to speak about it doesn't mean you have to change what you do necessarily but just to say oh what happened then was i did i were you scared of me then son okay i understand that i still need you to turn off the television okay i still want you to go to bed but i understand that's all you don't always have to change what you do but when when you help him to speak his feelings that's what helps him to not be so blaming in the end over the years and you'll see that he gets stronger mommy i was scared of you when you when you raised your voice that makes him feel stronger when i can say oh i'm upset i'm hurt i was scared i already feel better i already feel better you didn't make me feel better i made me feel better because i said my feelings to you do you get that that's a fantastic lesson to teach your children help them with that and to say yeah. um an i statement is the opposite of blaming that's a good thing to practice and you role model it for your child you listen to the difference mommy i was scared of you when you raise your voice that's number one number two you're a bad mummy <laughs> and and that's what usually children do number two that's okay it's really okay we all do that when we were three but start to role model the number one they still say their feelings but without commenting about you that's how a person can best learn to grow up to finally take responsibility you can speak your feelings without saying you're bad See?